welcome back. We have successfully conducted a bare metal backup of our hard drive, uh, which was part one of our series here. And in part two, we will go over a couple things. First of all, I'll show you that obviously we've completed the backup as you can see here. Secondly, I'll show you where the files are located in Windows. And thirdly, I'll show you how we can restore that bare metal backup with a bare metal restore. What we're going to do is restart the computer. And of course, Windows is now loading. We come to our demonstration account here, enter our password. Oops. Perfection is a rare thing. Now, oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> and now we'll show you here exactly what we're looking for. And I'll try to make it a little bit bigger so you can see it. Alrighty. And if I didn't know any better, I would say that we do have a backup drive. And in accordance with our last video, it does have backup files in place. Now, following this, we're going to go over what happens when your whole computer crashes and you don't know what to do but you still have good old backup drive available and we'll go through that step now and conduct a bare metal restore. We are now in a situation where we are prepared to do a bare metal restore. In this scenario our primary drive has failed. We go into Paragon Backup Restore Windows PE environment as discussed in part one of this demonstration and we see very clearly that the hard drive is gone. We have nothing on the drive and maybe we've even replaced the drive with another new 20 gigabyte drive. But we know that we have nothing to worry about because we made a bare metal backup of our software and uh, it is there still. Uh, the only problem is we have an unallocated disk which we can no longer boot from. So we lost all our files. There's zero bytes on this drive and we now need to get that drive operational again and we need to be able to boot into Windows again. So here's what we need to do. Once again, we're in Paragon. Uh, we've booted from the DVD media. We go to Full Scale Drive Backup Pro, which we were just at, but for the sake of demonstration I'll show how to get there again. And what we want to do is, well, we want to uh, create another partition. Okay, and this is a primary partition. It doesn't matter what the volume name is. We'll just call it C. We apply these changes right away. A quick format takes place. The partition is mounted. And we close that dialog box. So now we have a hard drive. Again, now it has a partition on it. And it can have files on it, but there's no windows on it. And that's where we have a problem. So what we need to do right away is go to restore. We exit out, we go to restore, we enter the restore wizard, and we need to find our archive. Remember, we start we stored our archive in my Windows 7 backup. We have the PBF file here, test bare metal backup, and we will click next. Now here, please select the items to restore. Well, we pretty much want to restore everything because we lost everything. And we want to restore it back to hard disk zero where it belongs. Definitely not to hard disk one because that's the source media and we would be pretty crazy to do something like that. We want to install this on a drive that has nothing on it. And we have some options here. We can copy the data and resize the partitions proportionally, and we can perform a surface test. You know what? We're in an emergency situation here, so we don't really care about these things. We just want to see if we can get this thing up and running again. And yes, uh, we do want to apply these changes right now physically. <clears throat> So as you see, the restore process is about to begin. It has begun already. 
uh, the file is being opened and the backup files are being processed and slowly but surely we will get to a point where we have restored our entire drive and we will demonstrate that in just about a couple seconds here. Well the great news here is that our bare metal recovery appears to have restored correctly and to verify that we're going to finish we're going to restart our computer and we're going to hope the computer boots and it looks like we've had some great success <clears throat> Windows has loaded again we have all of our files and we have fully recovered the drive <laughs> A couple things to mention are that you really didn't have to create a new partition. Uh, when you went to do the restore, you could have restored it to an empty drive. Um, you may want to resize the partition if the restore doesn't go properly. Use the resize option and use the sector verification option for additional thorough uh, re restoration. But overall, we've pretty much got it working. Thanks a lot for watching this demonstration. We have demonstrated how to do a bare metal backup and a bare metal restore. Remember, with the Paragon Windows PE uh, CD image that is given to you when you buy the Paragon Backup and Restore software, you can perform bare metal backup and restores with ease. It's a lot better than using the Windows Backup, unfortunately, which still lacks many essential features and pretty much doesn't get the job done as well as other applications do. So I look forward to speaking to you again and giving you more information. Hopefully this has been useful to you.